This article contains affiliate links. We will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more Katy Perry is preparing to take the stand in a legal battle against an 84-year-old veteran over the sale of his $15 million mansion. However, Carl Westcott, who is also the founder of 1-800-Flowers, has quietly been battling Huntington's disease, and his family claims he might not live to see the end of it. They told Radar Online that they were forced to give him a tearful goodbye before traveling to Los Angeles for the upcoming trial and fear he might not live to see the outcome. Westkick claims Perry and her fiancé, Hollywood actor Orlando Bloom, stole his Santa Barbara home out from under him. He also alleges that their business partner convinced him to sell the property in 2020 while he was on painkillers and recovering from a six-hour back surgery. The Real Housewives of Dallas alum Cameron Westcott, who is Westcott's daughter-in-law, opened up to Radar Online on the stress the legal battle has caused her family. She said the family got emotional when saying their recent goodbye because they never know if it will be the final time. Cameron and her husband, Court, jumped on a plane on Tuesday from Dallas and will attend day one of the hearing, which is set to begin on Wednesday. She also said they saw Carl on Sunday, and her husband cried because he doesn't know when his father will die. The reality TV personality also revealed that she prepped her kids for that possibility, instructing them to give their grandfather a meaningful goodbye. Westkit has Huntington's disease, which slowly attacks areas of the brain like dementia or Alzheimer's. He is bedridden and unable to be present in the courtroom. That's why Cameron and Court are facing Perry in court. Cameron said they are terrified Carl might not make it through the trial, revealing they would 100% still fight for Carl's justice and honor, if he doesn't live. She added that their emotional goodbye has added even more stress to the family as they have to take time away from his bedside to fight for the home, which is where Westkit wanted to die. His family was forced to move him to Dallas to keep an eye on him. Cameron said it's extremely important for her and her husband to represent him in court. He's such an honorable man. He's worked his entire life and deserves to stay in his home, Cameron said, adding, it's sad Katie is trying to take that from him. Westkit claims that once his pain medications wore off, he changed his mind about selling his mansion. However, when he approached Perry and Bloom's real estate agent, he received a letter from their attorney saying they were not willing to walk away and he was obligated to complete the sale. Westkit sued Perry and Bloom's business agent, Bernie Gudvey, who denied any allegations of wrongdoing. The fireworks singer and Bloom are not named as defendants, but Perry accused Westkit of owing her $2. 67 million in damages for the loss of income from being unable to rent out his property. In her April deposition, Perry said she never intended to rent out the property, nor did she allude to it in her letter to him, in which she told Westkit she wanted to raise her family in the home. Cameron believes the singer took advantage of his mental state with the sale, calling her actions disgusting. Perry's attorney denies all allegations, saying the trial is about an enforcement of a real estate contract and nothing more.